Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as promised, I'm back fresh faced in January and I have kind of a mixed bag today. It's something I've not done on my channel before. It is a Primark slash what I got in the January sales kind of video. And I'm rushing because my sister's taking me out for lunch. But I wanted to film this before I actually like used any of the items, but I can't control myself. So let's just dive in. So let's just start off with the stuff I got from Primark because I got some held back quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff I want to get. Um, I do have a gift card, but I've forgotten it. So I will add them onto a blog post or maybe add them in a new video, I don't know. But I got this top. Let's start with this top at the moment. I've got on, it's just a plain black long tee. Um, I got it in a 2XL because I wanted something baggy that I could tuck in. Um, like today I've got some tweed trousers on. I just wanted casual comfiness. I've got a lot of these slightly long tops. They're long sleeve, they're brilliant. This was, um, why do I sign out of breath? This was 350 and I think it's really good that they're doing 2XL. I'm not that big. I'm not, I'm not big, like, um, but I'm like a 16 to 18 and I find Primark sizes come up small on me. And when I was a size 22, I could not get anywhere. I just couldn't get any clothes. The only place I could get my clothes was like Evans. So, it's really good that they're doing bigger sizes, especially for me, because I'm at that awkward thing of, especially these tight tops, because they will stick to everything. Um, the slouchy tops are amazing, but if I get an 18, it's not quite baggy enough. So it's nice to have the option where I can actually just buy a baggy t-shirt. So that's that's number one, that was 350, a basic t-shirt, just because I need certain things like this. I've got loads of designs on and stuff, but nothing just plain. Um, and I sang really out of breath and I don't know why. Anyway, next thing I got was this jumper. It's got this really nice button detail. I'm not a fashionista in any way. Um, so yeah, I just got some basics for my wardrobe. Um, so this was three pounds in the sale. And this is a XL. So this is a 18 to 20, this one. But it is really oversized. I really like it. They did have another one that has just come in with a guitar thing. It's like this weird jumper. It's thin jumper, but it's like really soft. Um, and they did have one without a tie at the bottom, but it just came up too cropped on me, even with high-waisted jeans. Um, so I'm not all for showing my belly, but this is so comfortable. They had loads of different colors. It's quite got the 70s vibe, the buttons. I've got a cat. <laughs> and yeah, I really like it, it's super soft too. So next thing I got was just a basic plain vest. Um, I wear a lot of black vests underneath my jumpers or like cardigans I wear with black vests. So this is just a plain one, it's a size 18 because I find the 16 is tight, I don't know why. Um, they are trying to improve their sizes which is really good but it still comes up tight. I mean they do give when you wash them so that's good. But I got a 16 last time and it was riding up when I was wearing a jumper and I just really didn't like that because the jumper was quite big. So yeah, I got a big one. This was 180 but I actually paid a pound for it. I don't know why, but it was a pound so I'm saving myself 80p. I haven't got many clothes, like I didn't, I didn't pick many. <laughs> I was trying to hold back. Um, and the next few things are a bit like miscellaneous. I'll start with the thing that I did get from Primark. Sorry, the bag's down here. Um, my local Primark's quite small and it's now bringing all the phone cases in, which is great because I could only ever get them in the big stores. And I saw this and I had to have it. They have a load of Disney princess ones with, um, they have a load of Disney princess ones with like no Wi-Fi and it's got the Snow White evil stepmom on it it's got give me a bell and it's got bell on it which is great i view the beast but i just like i don't know i wanted the new phone case i've got too many <laughs> but yeah this is for an iphone 6 7 and 8 um and they had a load of disney ones and i saw them and they were like silicone i'll try and find a picture and they were like huge but the thing is they make your phone really big and i was like no, so I went into the Disney shop and it was so expensive still. Popped into Primark near the makeup section and I found this just dumped somewhere. I'm so happy that I found it, it's beautiful. Does not look like it's from Primark and it was three pounds. 
I absolutely love it. I love the little ring thing, like hopefully I might actually stop dropping my phone. <laughs> which is great. It does look like a Disney official. It's a limited edition one. I only found one in the Shrewsbury store where I'm from, so I don't know if it was a return or not because sometimes they have things, like I find a jumper and it's a return. I found one pair of pink dungarines that were perfect. It was a return, it was a size six, which sucks, but you know, whatever. I am so thrilled I got this. Nothing wrong with it, it's amazing. Can't wait to put that on my phone in a minute. I got, um, a new diary. I went to Paper Chase and all the diaries are super expensive and I don't know. I, I had a really big diary last year. Every January I get either bought a diary or I buy one myself. Um, and my partner just said, go out and buy yourself one and I'll pay for it. And there was just nothing caught my eye in Paper Chase. They were all too big and went WH Smith and I popped into the works and this is perfect. It's small enough for my handbag. Because my big one that I had, I didn't actually use it that all that often, which just really sucks. But yeah, this one is perfect. It's great for my handbag. It's not too small either. And it's this. I love cats. I love unicorns. So yeah, I would definitely check. Um, if you can hear banging, my neighbour's having some work done. I'm really sorry. It's great. It's got like a, I don't need a lot of stuff in my diary. Um, so yeah, it's great. I love it. 150 guys. Go and check it out. There's so many diaries, like every size, even the little tiny ones that you put in your purse, like huge. 150 guys. I love it. Can't wait to start using that. <laughs> and uh, let's go with primer again. This isn't a clothes item, it's a makeup item. I do love Primark makeup. Um, they're cruelty free. Yes. And um, I was just having a look so let's have a look and I was actually on the search for the concealer that I use but they didn't have any they only had the really 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 dark shade which is great if you're like a lady of colour which is amazing I think that's great that they cater for that but my Primark is they have something in and then like a week later or two weeks later it doesn't come back especially with the clothes or it goes in the sale or you'll go back to go get an item like a foundation or a concealer and they never have it so I think I just, I'm gonna have to buy another one <laughs> somewhere else. But this eyeshadow palette, this eyeshadow, shall I say, it was 150, it actually cost me 50p in the sale. Um, they put the label right in the middle, so it's like gross and all sticky, but I love it. I have an eyeshadow on, I have an eyeshadow that I got from Avon, probably like two, three, maybe older than that years ago, that I really need to throw away. And I found it over New Year and I've been using it and I really love it and I did like, um, Elisa Eldridge smoky eye and I love it. I've got it on now. This is where I've got really really close to the camera. Excuse if I've got creasing under my eyes I'll explain why. And it's got this really nice snowfall little design on it. I really like it. It's such a nice colour. Packed on me. I put it on my finger this time because I was in a rush. It's like blends really nicely. That's all I've got on my eyes and mascara and underneath. Love it. I'm gonna wet it and try it as an eyeliner. Great. This brings me on to my next thing. Is the concealer. So, <laughs> I bought a new concealer and I did such a ridiculous move. <laughs> so, I bought the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define just because I've heard so much about it. Um, I had to try it. This is in the 1C 6.5 and they have a hella range. Like I think they have like 14 shades or something ridiculous of concealer. I am quite pale. I normally wear an ivy, warm ivy kind of colour. I'm definitely not beige and I'm definitely not porcelain. I'll, I'll show you what colour I am. <sighs> this is on the back of a product. So I'm kind of like that colour. So, <clears throat> this is six shades in, and I just tried it in store and it was great, and I thought that would be great, that would be not too dark and not too light, and I was very wrong. This is a great product, but it is very light. Very, very, very light. I think I'm more like a C7, eight maybe? even 
Um, yeah, this is very pale and very yellow. I've got my hand. It's got a great brush on it. It is like the tarp shaped tape. But it's way too light for me, guys. Like, and I can't take this back now. But it's only £4, so it's inexpensive. And I could just probably give it away to someone who is. But it looks right, but it's not. Now, <clears throat> this concealer, for me, sorry, you can't even see it now, I've blended it in. Creases so bad. So today I've used it. I don't even know if you can even see that. I will put a picture on my blog if I remember. But it's so tacky and it's sat in all of my fine lines and I don't have a lot of fine lines on my eyes. Um, and it's really enhanced them. Um, so I don't know if to buy another one in a different shade and see or to try something different. If you have any recommendations, that would be great. But love this, love the coverage of it. But maybe it's not for me. But I'm glad I tried it. So that's that. I am going to take it, probably try another colour and be patient with it. I don't know. It's very creamy as well. I mean, it does, it might set down, it might wear okay. So we'll see on that. But I do need to get a different shade. So if you're hella pale and you're like porcelain snow white ghost colour, you have like four shades that you'll be able to use, which is fantastic because I always find they're too orange. Battery's dying, so I'm gonna have to go through this super quickly. Okay, so my next product I actually got in the sale. I'm so happy. My birthday's New Year, and um, I actually had the money to spend on myself, which was nice. Um, and I got this in the sale. I got a five pound voucher from the Body Shop because it was my birthday. If you're part of the Body Shop Club, they give you five pounds. So I got the Pe Body Shop Peppermint Candy Cane Shower Gel. Really like this. It smells like candy canes. It's beautiful. I got in the sale for 2 50 um, they still have some online, um, by the time you see this, hopefully they still have some online because I'm filming this a few, like you'll see this in a couple of days. Yeah, really like this. Um, my next product was the, the, the star of the show. My next product I got in the boots clearer section, okay, for £4. I'm gonna show you and you will fall over. If you know what it is, you'll know what it is. I got a full size Liz Ill hot cloth cleanser. Oh, it's called T3, that's amazing. Okay, it comes with a full size cleanser with uh, two or three hot cloth cleansers. This cleanser is worth 21 pound in the sale at John Lewis. I cannot believe how immensely lucky I was. I think the person that was reducing this didn't know what it was. So, I am doing a blog post on this. I used it last night. It smells amazing, like on 5%. So I'm really sorry this video is so hash. I might even refilm it, who knows, right. <laughs> um, next item, I'll do these quickly, these two together. Again, I was in my local boots clearer section and I got some Pucker Green Clean Greens and they are supplements and I don't know what they are, <laughs> but they've got loads of good stuff in. Spirulina, seaweed, kale, fennel seeds, peppermint, and I think they're really good for your gut. But I will write this on my blog. I'm happy, I want to detox a bit. I want to give my stomach a bit of a chance because <laughs> it's all the rich food. And these are 175, bargain. There'll be pictures on my blog as well. Um, so my next item is the Body Shop um, Nude Fresh Foundation. It's the cushion foundation. It's got SPF 25 and it's the Cormos Comoros Vanilla O2. I think I might have got the, a shade too dark. I'm not sure. Who knows? But it was two pounds in the sale. I had to add up my voucher, so I got it. Comes with a mirror. It's got a little pad in it. There will be more photos on my blog. I haven't used this yet, and there's the thing. All fresh and brand new. So I haven't used this yet, but my theory was my skin has been very good lately which I will share why but um at some point in my vlog but it I wanted this for a day that I didn't want to wear makeup like today I've got makeup on but I wanted this on the day where I just wanted a bit pop a bit of concealer on and make my skin look fresh so that's the theory <laughs> but yeah this was two pounds in the sale they've got loads of shades as well but that is everything my guys my guys guys <laughs> my battery is about to die on my camera but 
I will put a full um, blog review and I will speak to you soon. Hope you have an amazing new year. Bye.